<laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, what kind of topics for uh, this podcast? Well, well, Michael, I don't know what the topics are going to be because we've already started recording. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yes, you knew that. What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's me. You know me, homie, Jake Juggalo. And it's me, Michael the Psycho. And welcome to another edition of Spoopcast. A podcast adventure. Indeed. And today, tonight, whatever, me and my homie Michael, we got a couple of stuff for you laid down tonight for your listening pleasurely ears. And, and I'm already laying down. Michael is already laying down. He already stripped himself of his clothing. He's on his bed. It's a good thing I'm not there to bear witness it. But holy crap, you guys. Let me just start off with the biggest topic ever. My homie, Michael the Psycho. He had this most... Well, let me, let me just say this. For the people who have been listening to the Spookcast, you know that we can swear a lot in the podcast adventure, but not in the professional show. Why? Indeed. Because we choose, we, we choose not to swear in the professional show, but we do swear in the podcast adventure. But... Because, but it, it is because it is our time, it's our... It's like a vent. We explained this before for those who had listened to that, to that, uh, to that episode of the Spookcast Adventure. You know, we we already explained that part. Yes, true. Uh, yeah, it was a real adventure for me these couple of weeks. Oh yes, yes. So, uh, so 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 you ninjas out there, the ones who are actually listening. We really love you guys, no homo. We really love you guys. Much respect for taking the time of your personal life to sit down and listen to our podcast. And yeah, man, thank you. Much love, much respect. Hell yes. So sit down for yet another epic, and I do mean epic, podcast adventure. And we are starting off with Michael the Psycho's personal trip to hell adventure. So Michael, start it off, kick it off, punch it in the gut, kick him in the nuts, hit it, tell him, give the word. Yeah, I will, I will, I will. Well, you know I went to the dentist, you know the whole story we did? Mm -hmm. You know, it uh, got a turn for the worst. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, uh, how do you call that, what I had? I don't know how you said it in uh, English. It's, uh, well, in, in, in Dutch, we call it a wortelkanaal behandeling, which is no, called no, 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 a... No, 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 no. What? No? no, 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 no. no? I, I, I didn't have that. I didn't have that. Uh, I, uh, I'll just... Say it in Dutch, and you can translate it if you can. But yeah, you you say it in Dutch, and I'll translate it for the people out there. Okay, hit it. Dark on staking. Okay, okay. My homie, he had a severe jaw infection. Yeah, yeah, and it wasn't my fault. It was the dentist's fault because, like I explained in the other uh, uh, episode. I explained that I was uh, went to the dentist and it was all fucked up, you know, bad shit happened to me, but it really took a turn for the worst. Mm -hmm. My jaw hurt and my dome, my temple hurt, it was both sides. And yeah, I couldn't sleep, I had so much pain and you know me, homie, I never cry. No. Not that easily at least. But this time I cried like a little bee, and I thought I was gonna die. I'm, I'm not even joking. I thought I was gonna die, and 
I had to go to another dentist and he told me that he shouldn't have done those procedures. My, my old dentist, the horror dentist, he shouldn't have done those procedures when he did because, because of the infection that I had, it, it, you, they, they shouldn't have done that. Let me just put it lightly. Yeah, that fucker just almost killed me. That that's true. Once you have a infection in your uh, in, in in your jaw or whatever, a dentist is not allowed to work on your teeth. They should say, "Hey, you got an infection. Come by next time once the infection is gone." But no. Yeah, give some medication. Yes. They should have given me some medication because. Uh, you guys can know I've been uh, the last half year and such I've been in a kind of in a depression mm -hmm. and well it's not a depression but the uh, the mental thing that I have mm -hmm. was pretty worse become worse for these last couple of months yes so your teeth is the last thing you think of you know for those who have been depressed or have something similar to that, you know that you really don't care about yourself. True. And in, 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 in short, uh, for the people who do not know, my homie Michael has a condition which is very rare. And um, I'm, I'm just going to ask this. Michael, can, can, I, can, I, can I explain it to them so they, so they know it? or sure sure yeah okay sure. okay my my homie he has a very special condition it's called uh i hope i say this right it's called depersonalization yes and it's a certain condition where uh when, when you have it it's when you are in your natural environment it's like one moment you, you you act like the normal typical guy and the others and, and and then one second it's like bam you are there but physically mentally you are completely somewhere else you are zoned out or yes. or, or or you can like out of the blue bam get a panic attack and then yes. just, and then just start to flip out that is called depersonalization. That, that, yes, and, and, and when you're in such a, when it happens, everything in, everything you see in your mind, it gets fake. It's not real for your feeling, and your movement, and everything you do is like you're watching a movie. Yes. It's like you're watching a movie, and it's like somebody else is moving you. And it's not you who's doing it. That's the feeling you get. And there are people that got this affliction because, let me tell you this, there, uh, it comes with another thing. Mm -hmm. Most people get afraid and they just off themselves because they don't know what to do. I don't have that. No, but no, thank what God. What I have is... I get aggressive if somebody says something to me. Look, I can handle a lot. You can say to me that I'm a dick or whatever. As a joke, you can say it to me. But if you're out to mentally uh, fuck me and I'm in such a situation that I have this attack, then I will rip off your head. It's just plain and simple as that. True. Because everything turns black and I'm only focusing on one point. True. So... Yeah, I've been in that for a very long time. And the messages that I got from some of you that helped me get through it. And I'm really, yeah, it really means a lot to me. So thanks for those who are listening and actually talk to me on Facebook and how I help them. You help me as well. Yes, indeed. You really help my homie Michael because this is a actual thing. We, we are not making this up. 
we're we're nope. we're not making jokes about it. This is a actual, real, serious thing. Even though we make jokes all the time, we make funny videos all the time, but this is a actual, serious thing that is actually happening happening to my homie Michael, and perhaps even to. A, a few ninjas worldwide because this is a th th this is a serious thing it is not that much common because um yeah it, it, it it's not really publicly made out uh, it, it, it's just it, it is a it, it's not a um it, it, yeah it's not a well-known inf uh, affliction Exactly. Well known affliction. Exactly. And, it, I, it, and I just want to say, if any of you have these similar symptoms, and you don't know who to talk to or whatever, you can always hook me up. Exactly. I will always talk. Exactly. It, it, it's not a thing that you hear about on the news every day. The, the, this is a serious symptom, symptom that, yes. that, that yeah. some people actually have, but don't know how to deal with it because the most things you hear on the news is about uh, I don't know the the things you hear about every day but this is a actual mental symptom that you don't which is real but you don't hear about it every day because not many people have this affliction That's so true. It, it, it is a rare thing wh which is happening in the world to a certain amount of people. It is not... But I, do, but, but I do have to say this. Hmm? I'm one of the lucky ones because, yeah. like I said, other people get afraid mm -hmm. and they go to see professional help, you know, professional... You know, those professional people that get paid for it, and they don't know what they're talking about. And they don't know what they're talking about. But they don't know what they're talking about because you can say it to them, and they're looking at, at you like you're nuts. Indeed. And they will say that it doesn't exist, but you ha if you have these symptoms, you probably have it. Not, I, I'm not trying to panic anyone because you can live with it. It's... It, it, it is hard, but you just need to be positive, no matter how things turn for you. And, and if you really want someone to talk to, you can always talk to me. Yes, always. yes, indeed. And you need to have good, trustworthy friends Hell around yes. you. Hell yes, because, yeah, you know this, I, since I work with you guys and... I didn't have many attacks as, as I normally would have because what we do is I think is positive. I think it's fun to do and all that. But for other people that are alone and don't know who to talk to about this, you can always talk to me or to Jake. Jake knows a lot as well. Yes. Don't underestimate him. Just saying, don't okay. and don't box yourself. Don't box yourself up. Exactly. It's like you you know us as the demented crazy ninjas from the Netherlands, but even us, we have serious sides. And if there's actually a thing in your life and you don't know what to do with it, you can for real talk to us because we can get down to a very serious level. Uh, Hell yes. This is just one of those moments where normally we just talk about poop and cock and shit and whatever, but the, I was just about to say exactly. But but this is <laughs> one of those moments when we actually get serious, which is right about now. Is if you have one of those symptoms, if you don't feel good, or or or, or whatever, you you can just talk to us, talk to me, yes. talk to my. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm drinking beer. You can talk to me, you can talk to Michael, and we can advise you on certain stuff. 
Yeah, or you just need somebody to listen to your story, you can always talk to us. Exactly. So, so with that all said... Let's get back to the story. Let's get back to... <laughs> Let's get back to the dentist story. I know you, the, the ones who listen to our spoopcast, you know that once we talk about one subject, we, 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 we swift and swivel to a whole new subject, and then we just sway off the path, and then we just, boom, get right, right back on it, which is right about now. The, yes. The dentist but, story. But it, it, it was a good sidetrack mm -hmm. so so that people can understand that when you're in that situation you don't think about yourself exactly and, and, we... that, and that happened to me so it was my well, kind, of, kind of a mistake but this this was, was michael's and, and 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 mine personal serious moment hope you guys enjoyed yeah. it and we are really for real about what we all just said a couple of seconds back. But let's get back to Michael's dentist story of hell. Yes. Well, I went to another dent. No, 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 wait. I was still at my horror dentist and mm -hmm. I went to him for a second, uh, a second appointment and I said, yeah, my jaw hurts. What the hell have you done to me? And he was like, okay, I'm going to work. So you know, he said to me that, that I needed, uh, what was that word again? He, 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 went, he went like this. Okay, Michael, let me take a look at your jaw. Okay, yeah. I see you need four root canal treatments which is going to cost you a lot of money and is going to make me a lot of money <laughs> that was awesome yes uh, i will play the dentist from hell yeah so i'm like no 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 stop it i i'm not gonna do that so after that was done, I didn't do it because something smelled fishy and it wasn't my big toe. And I, I went home and I sat down and my mom asked, asked me, uh, yeah, Michael, are you okay? Uh, what did he want? So I explained to her. He was like, that is very weird. And I was like, yeah. But at that point, the pain wasn't all too bad, but it hurt, you know? Yeah, it, it was it, kind it of hurt. dormant. It was like resting, like, like, like birthing. Yes. yes and but... that evening, mm -hmm. it came to birth. Yes. The most painful experience that I had to go through. And it hurt like hell. I didn't expect that it would hurt that much. I knew it was gonna hurt, but that much, I couldn't, uh, I, I called you the next day because mm -hmm. uh, I, I was awake at one o'clock at night. And for those who saw, I posted a, a, short, a short message on Facebook. True, and yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to make it epic here. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Too much? Yeah, too much. Too I'll, much, bro. I'll just lower it down a little bit. Yes. Yeah, so it went like hell. I was, uh, at that point, I, I still hadn't cried. No. So, so uh, I, was at, uh, I was drinking coffee at 1 o'clock at night, and I hadn't stopped drinking coffee until seven o'clock in the morning i was drinking coffee non-stop because i was in that much pain and it hurt like hell yes and i took a lot of uh, painkillers of course mm -hmm. and uh, my mom woke up and she said you really need to go back to the dentist yes and i was like no no no, no. no i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna go to that fucker she was like, okay, then we're going to call you, uh, we're going to try to get you to the next dentist, do a new one. 
But because we all know Michael the jo M Michael the Psycho is a stubborn little son of a bitch. Just a little, just a little detail. Yeah, yeah, but her yeah. Mate, you can say I'm stubborn. Yes. But I'm not the only one who would, who would have done that in that situation. I know, I know. We are all stubborn little sons of bitches. Uh, I was just about to say, and so I went to the next dentist because I. They told me. They told my mom, yeah, you should come right away. So I did. Mm -hmm. And they looked at it and he said, yeah, this is a serious infection. You shouldn't have worked on your teeth, on your jaw, because I, I, uh, I don't know, have I already told us that they pull out my tooth, one, that the son of a bitch pu pulled out one. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah, what am I saying? I told that in the last spook cast. But yes, yes. All that, it, it, he should have waited. Yes. But he did it anyways. Yeah, because it was and already infected before he pulled the first tooth? Yes. Ah, see? Yes, and he uh, repaired four other teeth. Uh, well. Yeah. And uh, it hurt like hell. And he said, yeah. uh, he, he gave me some antibiotics, and I went home, and some painkillers. Some good painkillers. Mm. You know the good ones. Yes, yes. You would, you would like this. Hold yeah. up. Bring out the volume. My homie Michael the Psycho. He, he got a a, a type of painkiller which made him go like this. Yeah. Like oh yeah. yeah. No, 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 wait a minute. No, 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 I tell her no. I didn't got painkillers then. Oh, no, that, that was after. I'm sorry. That, I'm sorry, that listening was after, viewers. after that. But I went home and I got my uh, normal painkillers. Um, it worked for one day, but the next day I had uh, double. I, I used seriously double the amount that you actually can use. Normally it's like six. But yeah. I used 14 in eight hours time. And it was like, how many milligrams of painkillers was it? 500. 500 milligrams per, uh, per pill, yes? Yes, and it still didn't work. So it was, it was like 500 milligrams per tablet. And yes. how many did you took? 14. Because it hurt that much for me, I really didn't care about my, whatever would happen. I was like, this pain needs to stop. So, so, so the people out there who are listening, if you are a math wizard, count this one. Yes. Uh, how, how, what was it? Five hundred milligrams. Yes. Okay, five hundred milligrams. Count that fourteen times. How many, how many milligrams is that? Because that is the amount of milligrams he took to take away the pain in his jaw. Every, every tablet, every pill or whatever, every, every painkiller tablet of 500 milligrams, 14 times in a day. Yes. How many milligrams is that? If you know the exact amount, I would love to see the exact amount of milligrams on the Facebook page. If you are a math wizard, you can solve this riddle. So I would love to see this wizard giving the exact amount of milligrams on Facebook. But anyway, continue. Yeah, and uh, you should know, I took those 14 tablets in eight hours time. Oh. Yeah, and it still didn't work. No, 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 just to think, 14 tablets, each tablet 500 milligrams 
in eight hours of time. That is a lot of milligrams. Yes, and I, you know me, I know, normally don't use painkillers. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck it. You know, I'm like, fuck it, I'll walk it off. Yeah, you're like this Rambo. Is, yeah, but this, homie, I'm not joking you. I called you, remember that I called you that I said I took that much? I know, I know, you, you tell them, I'll be right back, hold on, you, you, you tell them, I know, I know this story. Oh, Data oh, are you going to take a pee? Yes. Again? Yes. Jesus Christ. I'm professional. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you do. But anyways, yeah, I took 14 of these goddamn tablets and it still didn't fucking work. I, yeah, but at that point I still didn't cry, because, yeah, I don't know, I was high or something, I don't know, I, I, I had pain and I was high, I think, I can't remember, but the next day I had to go back to the dentist, and he took, he took a look at it again, and yeah, I got some be uh, better painkillers, they were really good. And not in a high way, I mean. No, but it took the pain away. And yeah. Yeah, it still took me... Uh, yeah, it still hurt like hell. I still woke up just sleeping an hour a day. And yeah, I, I don't know. That day I posted another comment. And thanks for those people that supported me that day. That really helped. Seriously did, <laughs> and yeah, it, it, it really hurt. I don't wish this on my enemy. I seriously wouldn't. But it took me four or five days. No, that's not a lie. I'm back. You're back. I'm back. You're back. Yes. You're back. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I had and to go to the toilet. Yeah, so, yeah, I told him I got other painkillers when, when I went to the, the next day to the dentist, but it still didn't end. The pain was still there, and a couple of, a couple of days after that, I went to the dentist again because the pain just got worse and worse, and they gave me uh, something to wash, uh, how do you say that, to... Uh, yeah, it, uh, it, it, it's called uh, uh, in, in in Dutch. It's called uh, waterstofperoxide. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to uh, peroxide. Uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide. I, 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 th I think that's the best way to pronounce it in English. Hydrogen yes. peroxide. Tell them, tell them what, what, what... There's some stuff, like, if you ever dyed your hair another color, <laughs> that, that stuff that you put in your hair, I put in my mouth. Yes, because he's got a lot and of hair in his, in, in his mouth. <laughs> no, seriously, stop giving me flack. <laughs> I'm not... Well, you know where I live. No, but they use those. Did you know that 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 stuff they use? They also use it on horses. Yes, yes. That that is why all those horses have perfect teeth. Yeah, but it worked. It seriously did. Yes. <laughs> hey, trust me. That that is the only stuff that actually works. I mean, if it, wor if it works on horses, it'll work. You'll try anything. Yeah, and you stop believing that things actually work. Because when you try that much things, and it doesn't work... Oh. Hold up. Hold up. Shut up, we're talking. The camera just fell to the ground. Hold up. It's still filming. Okay. Wow. I love this camera. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. If, if you just heard some shit flying around, that's because the camera just fell down. 
And just... Well, that's what you get. I told you, I told you, over. don't mess with me because these things happen. You should know that by now. Homie, homie, first of all, fuck you, I wasn't messing with you. And second of all, <laughs> second of all, I was trying to place the camera, but it didn't, it didn't, it didn't work, and it just threw shit around the entire room. <laughs> it, 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 it went, it went like this. So, I, I've, I've got some stuff flying around the room. But, okay. So that's what you get. Continue. I forgot what I was going on about, but the pain, the pain got worse hmm? Thursday. Was that right? Yes, it was Thursday, right? Yes, it was. Yeah, right. yeah. That was the day I cried myself to sleep. Yes. Oh, and I woke up and the pain was gone. I was like, this is, this is a real. True. But one thing that I haven't told you yet, or I did, I don't know. Did you know that when that fucker pulled my tooth, he didn't pull all of it out? I, I, yeah, yeah. You, you told me that once you got to the uh, hospital, was it? Nope. Did it, a different dentist? Yeah, I got a new one. Yeah. I got a new one. This one is very good. Yes, you went to a different dentist and he noticed that the dentist from hell broke off your teeth, uh, you, you, your tooth, I'm sorry, it was one, and he left a couple of broken tooth still in there and oh sh crap ladies and gentlemen <laughs> <laughs> of course only this only happens in the spook cast <laughs> yeah this, this is the first time that I, that, that ever happened most epic, most epic moment and his phone just dies but yeah he had a couple of pieces of his tooth that got broken and still got left in there which caused the infection in his jaw yes uh, well it made it worse it he, made it worse. I had the infection, but it made it worse. Yes. He already had a infection in his jaw. And since the dentist from hell didn't really uh, did his job correctly, he left a couple of pieces of his broken tooth in his jaw, which created a even more bigger infection in his jaw yes which led my homie into a even bigger hell of pain because of that yes but yeah i can talk now and i'm very happy about that that i can finally talk again without my skull bursting out Exactly. You, you, you can now talk more than you did last week, and you can talk so much more right now, which makes me sometimes tell you to shut the hell up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you this, you fucker. You sound like R2-D to have butt sex with Darth Vader. That's what you sound like now on the phone. I'm just saying. Why, thank you. Well, if, if you have not watched the professional show Halloween Edition, we surely advise you to watch it. Ed, what does that got to do with R2-D2 having butt sex with Darth Vader? Well, there, there is a small Star Wars... Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Don't spoil it. Let the people themselves just see it. No, I'm... I'm 
I'm, I'm, I'm just telling them there's a small Star Wars reference in the professional show Halloween edition. And if you haven't noticed it by now, then I suggest you re-watch it again and pay close attention, not just with your eyes, but with your ears as well. Yes. It's an awesome Halloween special, by the way. Yes. It is awesome. I worked my anus off for this one. You did, and you still haven't found your anus. No, it, it, it got lost somewhere. Yeah, it got lost in the editing. Because if it was unedited, you would see Jack. I called you Jack. Yes. <laughs> hey, don't ever call me Jack. I'm sorry, Mother Flacco. I'll go shoot myself in the dough. Good, and then make sure you come back to make the another, another episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm still, I'm still a little fucked up. I mean, this is the first day that I can actually talk normally without being... Oh, my face. Jake, I'm gonna hang up now. My face hurts like fuck. And then cry. Yes, true. But what I didn't... Well, I also forgot to tell you that the normal dosage for those painkillers that I used, the, the, new, the new ones, the good ones, I used five of them a day. Yes. Five of those bastards. But it did the job, and I was... Glad that I got rid of the pain. I mean, oh. true. I'm listening. I'm listening and eating. Did, did you? Did you? Is that MCF I'm hearing? <laughs> you nailed it. Yes. Yeah, and the sound is really fucked up. By the way. <laughs> the sound of my phone right now, so it was really hard for me. I was like, is that MCF? Is that, yeah, 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 that's MCF. Well, I, 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 how about this? Man, I got a crappy remote, which isn't working at all. That's true, but you also got that your thing dies on your TV when you're watching something. Oh man, I hate my remote. But you still live in the 1800s, so yeah. Yes, yes. Oh well, at least you can hear it somehow. Yeah, it really sounds like you're underwater, but hey, the demon look, this is, this is just... Let me, let me congratulate the first ever on my end, the demon voice no. on the Spookcast. It's the first ever. Uh, it, it's there? It's there. Haven't even noticed it. No, you never noticed anything. But hey, that's you, and I forgive you for it. Thank you. <laughs> no, I, I seriously can't hear anything that's on the background. No. I re I'm really curious, what are you playing in the background? MCF? <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't sound like MCF on my end. It's, uh, it's called uh, Als Schatten an der Wand. Shit on the wall? <laughs> no. No. Yeah, the, uh, the audio on my end is really crappy, so it's uh, a good thing that I'm not recording on my end. I mean, uh, but yeah, uh, my homie Michael, the the the, the audio on the wall, the is is all is uh, always on scheiße. Do do weißt du? Ich weiß das auch. Und ich, yes. ich kann das nicht, äh, ich, ich kann das nicht upgraden für du, 
der, der Audio, das ist ganz scheiße. So, äh, entschuldigen, wenn der Audio ist super scheiße. Das ist nicht mein Problem, das ist der Problem. So, als du, so, so wenn du der ein, wenn, wenn du ein Problem hast mit der Audio, das ist du, das ist du der Audio Problem Scheiße und nicht meine Scheiße. So, äh, ich kann einfach sagen zu der, zu du, dass äh, der, der Audio ist scheiße und fick dich. Und äh, ja, das ist all, das ist all, was ich hab's zu sagen, sagen, so, whatever, what, was ich habe to, to tell you, to I don't care und go fuck yourself, der, der ist ein, der, der, der ist ein, 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 ein Sheep in der Corner. Und du musst die, 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 die Schieb äh, mit, mit einer Pistole kaputt schießen, scheißen, whatever, I don't care, they don't Is care. That what you really want? Ja, man. Ja, yeah, man. So I need to shoot you in the balls and pin you against the wall and then shoot you again in your other ball. Yes. Is that what you really want? Yes. Okay. Yes, and and then shoot the goat as well, because it's it it, it is a, it's a that's the witness in the corner. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But you uh, did 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 you have another topic? Mm. I thought you said we had a couple of topics. No. <laughs> Was that it? Is that it? This whole spoop cast is about me and my fucked up situation where I was in. Dude, you know what the worst part of everything was? What? I couldn't sleep, but I couldn't put on my mask, you know? Because we, we wanted to do something awesome, or at least I wanted to do something, and I just couldn't do it. Couldn't put on my mask, and yeah. It didn't work out. The way I wanted to. True. I, I, I gave him a dress. He couldn't even put on the dress. So I was like, you know what? We're going to change the entire, the entire storyline of the Halloween edition. Yeah. Yeah, you were like, dude, you need, to, you need to wear my bra. But I was like, Jake, have you seen your bra? It's yeah. like, dude, you could, fuck, you could put two limousines in those things. Like, right damn. <laughs> Not cool, bro. Not gonna fit me. So there you go. But but it was, it was extra fluffy for you. You couldn't even yeah, wear because, that one. No, the, dude, you gotta put two limousines in the bra that you wear, and you still have space to put the moon in it. Are you so, are, yeah. are, are you telling me my titties are small? <laughs> They're gigantic. Thank you. Thank you. So if, if people would have seen you without a shirt, they would have, <laughs> they're like, damn, those are huge. Uh -huh. And they would be terrified. Even, even, dude, even, even I am terrified. I, I got some beautiful man titties. <laughs> you do. Yeah. You do. You know what's funny? First we started off with my horror story, and th then we got serious, and then we got third, then we went on with my horror story, and now we're talking about your damn boobs. Yeah, but if, if, if we want to talk about my mind boobs, it's going to be a whole nother show, man. <laughs> yeah, because it's, not gonna, it's just not going to be one episode that we need to do that. No, it's going to be an entire, entire marathon. Exactly. Of a year to to put that into place. Exactly. So, so, so explain what that is about. So, so this is a prelude on my man boobs. <laughs> yeah. So for people who have been wondering or wanting to know what Jake looks like without his goddamn uh, t-shirt, that's what he looks like. Yes, imagine Godzilla, but then with boobs. With uh -huh. gigantic boobs. Beautiful boobs. 
Yeah, they could be, but usually when you do that, many people die. Man, you Usually when you pull those bad boys out, everybody dies. Even man, I almost died. Man, you're a hater, man. You're a hater. Yeah, I'm, I'm not hating. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm just saying if people would see your boobs, they'll be like... But I do give you... i got to give you credit, though. We, we would get a lot of views. Okay, okay, right about now. Hashtag <laughs> Jake's boobs. Yeah, that's trending. That's going to trend, man. Yes. And the people who don't know what they're going to be like, Jake, Jake's boobs? Really? And then you show them, and then you got to show them Jake's boobs, and then they're going to be like, Jake! I mean, he's going to go on to do bigger things. I'm not. I'm just going to stay in the professional show. Exactly. Hashtag Jake's boobs. That would, yeah, but I don't think it would, I don't think if we, I don't know, if we made a picture and posted it on Facebook, I think. Facebook would just, the servers would just burn down, because... Yeah, they need to pay me first to see my man boobs. Yeah, but they, they just can't handle it. Nope, nope. That, that's true. Unless I get a 50 hashtag Jake's boobs, I will show them my boob. Or 50 subscribers. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That was a thing. Indeed. Uh, and and on that thing, we need to uh, go back to that cave where we came from, which we started from, and uh, come back another time to entertain these ninjas once again with a new... Yeah, we, could, we could talk about me watching The Walking Dead. And my opinion on it. Yeah, but that that'd be a whole a whole different episode, homie. Yeah, you're right. Because because I'm tired as hell. Yeah, we're just gonna call it a day. A day. Exactly. We're we're gonna call it a day. This was just yeah, one topic. Yeah, and so I'll let you guys know what's up and why where I was these last couple of weeks. In the gates of hell of pain. Yeah, we we did make a couple of jokes, but it really wasn't that funny. Yeah, it was just to it keep really you wasn't. alive. Yeah, it was it was worse, man. It was it was hell. I I hope that I don't wish this on my worst enemy. Except uh. <clears throat> except. I'm going to say it right now, because, or else people are going to say, Michael is getting too soft. No, no, I'm not getting too soft. But I, if Justin Bieber gets it, then I'm going to be yes. Oh, yeah. Finally. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, by the way, I didn't know if you, if you read that co uh, comment of that. Uh, sorry that I forget your name, but the guy that's... Uh, was it a guy? Yeah, it was a guy, right? That says that I need to come back to shoot Justin Bieber. Did you read that comment on Facebook? Yeah, um... Ah, uh, shit. Um, um, um... Oh, man. I, I forgot the name. Shit. I'm sorry. But, yeah. Th this guy hopes for you to recover and come back. So you can shoot Justin Bieber in the face. Yeah, that made my day, by the way, when I read that. I was like, no, <laughs> dude, I was like, hell yes, don't worry about it. The world is going to be safe. I'm going to make sure of that. Exactly. Yeah. So so I'm, I'm sorry that I don't know the name of the ninja who posted that on Facebook. But yeah, really, yeah, really sorry. I'm not good with names, so I forget them quick. And somebody probably backed me in a, in a Facebook message because my phone is going off like it's nobody's business. <laughs> I don't know. Did you hear that or not? 
Yeah, that, that's a whole new episode, bro. <laughs> Dude, it's going off like... I need to check this. <clears throat> Hold on. Holy shit. Demon voice. I got... Yo, homie. Huh? Ah. I got 13 fucking emails. Uh, I don't know where it's from. But it's all... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Dumb, no, 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 it's probably your message. You know the thing that you posted it earlier this, this day? <laughs> <laughs> it's that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my phone out the window, and uh, yeah, that's a thing. You go to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep, man, because I'm going I'm to go to work. Monday again, so yeah. All right, bro. So we're gonna, so we're gonna sign off. Oh, well, we're gonna sign off. So we yeah. hope this episode wasn't too serious, but we do mean what what we said earlier about if you have something and you don't know who to talk to, you can always talk right. to us. If Jake is a little bit fat, Jake is faster with English typing than me. For me, it takes a couple of minutes, but I, I'll, I will react. I, I thought you was going to say Jake is fat. I'm like, fuck you, man. So, yeah, uh, Jake is fat, and he got man boobies. I'm so. beautiful. I'm beautiful. <laughs> You're just jealous. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but, yeah, man, if, if, if you guys ever want to talk to us on a serious level, you, you can either talk to me or talk to my homie, Michael. And we will try and help you out in the most serious way we can. Yes. Hell yes. And if uh, you got people that don't know our show, just hook them up with our show. And if they're like, they are not cool, then you'd be like, okay. And In just walk away. Indeed. Hook a ninja up. Hook Hell a ninja yes. up. Because we want to reach more people, want to help more people. Yeah, that's what we do, because we are who we are, and we're the professionals. Indeed, and on that note, I would like to say thank you all people, my ninjas, my friends, my homies, the people who are out there listening to our show, watching our videos, we love y'all, much respect, much love, no homo, wicked clown love, if you're a juggalo, Whoop, whoop. If you're not a Jolo, we love you. Thank you. Much respect. This was me. You know me. A homie, Jake Juggalo. Indeed. We love you regardless. Yes. But this was me. You know me. Homie, Jake Juggalo. And this was me. Michael Beside. I couldn't speak my name. Did you hear that? That was pretty stupid. No, no. That, that, that's just you. But, but yeah. we're signing off on Spoopcast. A podcast adventure. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Have a great whatever. And peace. Peace. Whoop, whoop. Peace. <laughs>